Hello friend this is your Khan Baba and welcome back to my channel I am so excited to have you here today in this video we are going to discussing about dinar so I am thrilled to finally be able to share my thought and inside knowledge with you let's share the video with your friend it really helped me out I appreciated your support more than you know so let's start the today information advisor to the prime minister Iraq has not recorded any failure in the timing of the payment of its debts Wednesday, the advisor to the Prime Minister for Financial Affairs, Mazar Mohammad Saleh, considered the World Bank's estimate of Iraq's debts at more than $150 billion exaggerated and unreal, and while confirming the high creditworthiness of Iraq, he indicated that no failure was recorded in the timing of debt repayment in more than a decade. From Time Sala said in a press statement, the issue of the Iraqi public debt requires a professional distinction of its history and details, and not taking its numbers on their minds without a clear logical analysis. When evaluated in foreign currency, it is estimated at about $54 billion, while the external debt payable until the year 2028 is estimated at about $23 billion, and there are debts due after the year 2028, so the external debt becomes about $30 billion. There is a debt pending on the Paris Club Agreement of 2004, i.e. sovereign debts before 1990 belonging to four Gulf countries and four other countries, which are about $40 billion, and if they are activated, if they are correct, because they are, as the economic terminology termed, reprehensible debts because they finance the Iraq-Iran war. At that time, if it is correct again, it must be deducted by 80% or more under the Paris Club Agreement for the year 2004, to be less than $9 billion or less. And Sala continued, commenting on what the World Bank mentioned in its new report that Iraq's debt exceeds $150 billion. He said, we do not know the method of calculating the debt in the World Bank report. Aside from it, for the external debt to reach $50 billion. As an expectation of the total internal public debt early, which was not achieved, and therefore the reading of Iraq's internal and external debts, according to what was published by the World Bank, came to be about $152 billion, and this is exaggerated rather than being at about $84 billion, excluding the balance attached to the Paris Club Agreement as an abhorrent debt, and what has been published about debt balances is unreal and discretionary. Nevertheless, the public debt-to-GDP ratio, even in light of its unjustified inflation, will remain between 54 to 57 percent of the estimated GDP for the year 2023, and it is within the current safe economic stability area, which is usually estimated at about 60%. And the advisor to the Prime Minister for Financial Affairs warned, the financial policy in Iraq adopts a highly disciplined system in adjusting the timing of payment of debt dues, annual installments and interest, or when extinguishing the debt once on its annual due dates, and there are fixed and accurately estimated annual allocations that are monitored in the budget. The public early to pay debt services and dues, especially Iraq's foreign debts, and no failure has been recorded in Iraq during a decade and a half, and this is what made Iraq's credit worthiness high, as Iraq is located within Area B in the global credit rating tables that are evaluated by international credit rating companies. Known and periodically since 2015 until today. The vast majority of internal public debt is in the possession of government financial institutions or the government banking system, which is an exclusive internal governmental matter.